Quick Start Sewing Tools Welcome to the Quick Start tutorial on sewing tools. You can either select the sewing tool you want or undock the sewing tools tab. Select the segment tool and click on the first segment on the back panel and then on the second segment where you want it to be sewn together. As you can see, the sewing relationship is displayed in the 2D window with the notch lines and in the 3D window with a number of segmented lines. At times, it can get confusing to know where one pattern should be sewn to another pattern. Clicking in the 3D window on the area of the pattern you want sewn will reveal a blue dot in the 2D window. This will show you where the patterns need to be sewn together. Because these are symmetrical patterns, when you sew one side, the other side is also sewn. Select the free sewing tool and click on the edge of the pocket where it should be sewn. Drag the mouse to the end of the pocket and click again. Repeat this on the pocket outline to complete the sewing relationship. Sewing can also be done in the 3D window. Undock the sewing tools to see them clearly. Hover the mouse over the avatar icon and select Show Arrangement Points. This will reveal a bunch of blue dots all over the avatar's body. Select a pattern and click on a dot closest to where the pattern should be in 3D space. Do this for the remaining patterns. You can move the patterns to adjust them if they don't look quite right. Symmetrical patterns will move to the corresponding dot on the other side. For the pocket, I'm just moving it near to where it should be. Use the Segment Sewing tool in the 3D window to sew the sleeve. If you sew two pieces together and the sewing direction is wrong, go into the 2D window, select Edit Sewing, right-click on the sewing relationship, and select Reverse Sewing. Remember when sewing that you can sew either in the 3D window or in the 2D window. To remove the unnecessary internal pocket line from the right side of the shirt, right-click and select Remove Linked Editing. Now, using the Transform Pattern tool, you can delete the unnecessary internal lines. Once the sewing is finished, press the Simulation button and simulate the shirt. It should fall into place. MN Sewing Although segment sewing and free sewing are the two main sewing tools you will use, I will show you now the M and N sewing tools. Use the Shift-Z hotkey to display the segment lengths. This is useful to see how long pattern segment lengths are. Select the M and N free sewing tool. Click on the first pattern. Drag to the end. Press Enter. Then select the next pattern. And then the next pattern. And select Enter to complete it. You can use the Check Sewing Length tool to display the length difference in the ratio difference. Here I will sew one pattern piece to another pattern piece that is much longer. You can also hover over the sewing relationship to see the length difference displayed in red. Auto sewing. 
Another option for sewing can be found in the Sewing tab, then clicking Auto Sewing. You can choose your garment type to either a top, pants, or a skirt. You can change the front type to either openable, partially openable, and closed. The Auto Sewing tool will then sew the patterns accordingly, 